Government is this year targeting to increase the area under irrigation in northern Muchinga and Luapula provinces by 6,000 hectares. Speaking during the tour of technical cooperation project on community-based smallholder irrigation in Kasama, Mungui and Parakoso with the National Union of Small-Scale Farmers of Zambia, Mr. Peter Lungu, the Director of Agriculture, said smallholder farmers will contribute towards the government's projection of 17,000 hectares under irrigation by 2016. The amount of land that has been brought under irrigation uh, by this uh, technical cooperation is, is quite uh, impressive. I think we are making steady progress towards attaining the 17,000 that, 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 that the president decreed we should, do, we should achieve by 2016. And speaking during the same tour, Dr. Jero Nozoka, the giant expert on agriculture and rural development to the Minister of Agriculture, said JICA will support a total of 7,200 farmers construct simple and permanent irrigation two years. This is the point, you know, the government trying to expand the irrigation areas. Like here in Northern Province, even Luapran, uh, Muchinga. So here are very good potential because of the location the, and the topographic condition, the water. So there's a big potential. So if once uh, the farmers, they develop their, their area, then they, they transfer their knowledge to other colleagues. I think there's a very big potential. And uh, similarly, like uh, Copper Belt and uh, or Northwestern, there are very similar uh, conditions. So I think we can transfer this knowledge technology to other provinces then we can expand the irrigation area. Davis Ndakala, a youth farmer, has encouraged fellow youth in the country to get involved in agriculture and create jobs and have more money. Mumisepela, number one, wichikala ambacha kutila, chila tuufumiana kudifidia, ama angashi ya liya ambia ya, haya kunuwa maluwa, kupepa bafuwa, kukula angali la fekuma ba. So, if we're staying, kula sangwa fekuno kuina kuma garden, itulewa mia, if ya kuli. With the utilization of weirs for irrigation, farmers will no longer depend on rain-fed agriculture, and this in turn will increase food and nutrition security. Reporting from Shiwa Yakapila in Prokoso, I am Songolo Kakandelo.